Hello everyone, it's Bebop 7 here and welcome back to Niche and the Wolfpack Challenge. And in the last episode, we met this really wonderful Nicheling, Rayla Nibbles. Rayla Nibbles, that's her full name, aka Nibbles, aka she's adorable and I just, wow. I only just now like really noticed her antlers, but I love them. She's, they're beautiful, just look at how pretty that is. But she is a really beautiful Nietzsche with two nimble paws who we invited into the tribe the other day. And don't worry, this time I have my dice. But um, she's she's just adorable and I love her. And she is best friends with Bismuth. And um, why did I? No, 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 no. I... Mm. Noodle, okay, I was thinking Noodle. Why did I suddenly doubt myself? What the heck? What the heck? Anyway, <laughs> and then last episode I was over here like, oh, look at me, I'm so good at remembering, yay! But, um, <laughs> I, and then I, that happened. But anyway, anyway, whoa, that was like super duper close. Okay. But let's see. Man, it's so weird to like move it around with the mouse. Because, um, I'm kind of used to doing it with the keyboard. So, like, kind of doing this was. It was weird, it was weird. It's so fast and quick and strange. Wow. Anyway, <laughs> so that's not the only thing that happened in the last episode. We also managed to kill that really giant blue bird. Honestly, probably because it was pretty old and Connie Isu just happened to strike at the right time to take it out. Um, he really impressed Ice Cream though. Uh, wait, not Ice Cream. He really impressed Shine. Probably impressed Ice Cream too. But I think she's more focused on her dodo mingo friend i would be i wonder if she'd be offended because the dodo mingo is a bird and she's like you just killed another bird how dare you Ugh. you know i don't know do you think probably not <laughs> but she like she's got her dodo mingo friend noodle's got noodle is actually pretty close to that dodo mingo too you're just a really friendly dodo mingo aside from stealing our nest i don't know if shine likes you though because you you're stealing a nest but anyway, so Kani Aisu got rid of the bird, he and Shine courted, and then they actually mated. So we have a little baby on the way, and I'm really excited to see the baby, because I'm curious to see what'll pop up, like what colors between these two. I hope it has ram horns. But um, that's not the only thing. Azora is actually starting to feel some resentment boiling in her heart. And it is purely because she really hates the fact that her family, like she is at risk. Well, her mate is at risk for getting kicked out if they start a family. And she really wants a family. And the fact that if, if she does have a family, her child is almost definitely going to be an Omega. Now, I don't think the reason, I don't think Noodle um, has actually been ranked down yet because she's been pretty helpful with collecting rabbits and everything, but we do need to remember Omegas more, um, definitely as we grow our tribe, and I really want to try to grow the tribe. I'm hoping that Shine and Connie Isu have quite a few kidlets, quite a few babies, because I really want to make this tribe as big as possible. I think it'd be more fun with more creatures, but... Isora is feeling some resentments, resentments. So um, let's go ahead and let's pass the turn and see where this goes. And it does turn out like she, since she got pregnant on this day, um, so it's this turn and then the next turn. Yeah, so yeah, I was right. I also checked the, oh no. <gasps> Nobody touch that. Nobody touch the pet, no, her pet passed away. Ice cream. I'm so sorry. Trying to find the button. Ice cream. I am so sorry. Your friend just died. Nobody touch it. We are not touching the dead Dodo Mingo. You want to know what the Dodo Mingo's name was, by the way? Huh? Everybody else who's looking at ice cream like she's crazy. You want to know what its name was? Dewdrop. Dodo Mingo. It was. <sighs> Do drop the Dodo Mingo. So none of you, none of you go judging her because that's an adorable name and Do drop was a gosh darn precious little saint, okay? Oh, berries. I think they're a bun buns. 
there is a bun bun. So she is going to stand vigil over her beloved friends. No, no, she's not moving. What did I tell you, little bun bun? She is not moving, except maybe here so that we can see a little better. But uh, Shine does not have the same sympathy, so she's gonna go and attack this bird, collect up some, what the? Oh, that was really loud. What the? Who, who, do? who are you? B and E immunity. I mean, you don't have the best eyesight, but I do kind of want the pack to be bigger. And you've got spiky body, so it might not be the best. Let's see if we can invite him, just for the heck of it. And then I can scroll down the name list and pick one of the names you guys have suggested. Instead of giving them names myself, I really should do that more. Okay. I think it's, um... One and four and anything, okay, like if it's a one and four, like between a one and four, they accept the invitation. If it's anything after that, they do not. And they're like, no, go away. Y'all are gross. Stay away from me. That sort of thing. So let's go ahead. Wow, a nine. They really don't want us around. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. It's not like we wanted to be your friend anyway, Nukir. Whatever. But, uh, oh, we have some bun buns. At least he's not like a rogue male, but um, let's see, while we're here, we definitely want to collect as many bunnies as we can, um, and I don't know how Connie Isu feels about being far away from everyone. Oh, he's already cold, you poor baby, come over here. Go ahead, collect some berries. I don't know how he feels about being far away from his mate, but he also wants to make sure that we have a lot of food so that his family can grow nice and big. Now, Izora. Zora is just watching her brother gather up the food and talking about how, you know, he's like, we gotta make sure we got enough stuff. Oh, the baby's coming. It's gonna be so weird. And it's just, goodness, the resentment. Goodness. So I think, I think she is probably, probably going to just straight up challenge him for leadership soon. We're, ha we're gonna have to see. I think what will really just kind of be the last straw is when the baby is born. Or maybe, like, if she breathes with her mate, if he gets kicked out, then she would definitely try to fight for dominance. And if she loses, she would happily leave to be with her mate and have the baby elsewhere and start her own pack. That would be so interesting if you started your own pack, Isora! I'm a clerps. You know what? She's gonna do it! Is it gonna hurt? No. Oh, it didn't work! It didn't work! Oh, it finally worked! Okay, so Connie Isu is over here, distracted by Bunny- Oh, Bunny, 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 Bunny. Noodle, you got this. Look at you. Look at you, Nibbles. Oh, Nibbles is so cute. I love her. Bunny! I don't know where, um, let's do a sniff. There's a mole, some acorns, you know, it might not be a bad idea to send Nibbles over here. And we have no one over here who can move, but Izora has done it. In the next turn, we're gonna go ahead and see if Connie Isu will stand for this. Now, his father was very fierce, I guess, very stubborn. I think he actually, yeah, he did kick someone out. I think we were able to invite them back in, but I don't know how this will go. We'll have to see. I'm gonna go ahead, pass the turn. Connie Isu is going to see that, oh no! Warm up. We do not need you dying on us. Can I dig? I don't know if I'm allowed to dig. I always forget. But we are going to see if Connie Isu will stand for this disrespect of his um, leadership. And we're gonna roll. I'm pretty sure it's like the same thing. If it's a one and four, they can stay. If it's anything up, they go. So let's go ahead and roll. Is he going to let Yehebnut stay or is he getting kicked out? Oh, apparently, apparently Connie Isu is just as offended as his father is when it comes to stuff like this. Um, you know what? We're going to go ahead and have her bury her pet. I'm sorry. I have to do that so that Shine can have her baby. And we're going to go ahead and send Camila down here. Again, I had to do that so that she could sit here and have her baby. But, uh, so Shine is just over here, happily setting up a nest, chatting with, chatting with ice cream. She has no idea what's going on between her mate 
and her sister. We're gonna leave that bunny there. She has no idea what's going on, but what we know is that Yeheb Nut just got kicked out. Um, let's rank him down to Omega. And he is no longer a part of our tribe. He is no longer a part of our tribe, and I think Izora has had it. So she is going to challenge. She is going to challenge her brother, Kani Aisu, for leadership, which is kind of ridiculous because, I don't know, it's kind of ridiculous. Like, you, I don't know, should you have your baby first and then challenge? Oh no, now there's a dilemma. Should she have her baby first and then challenge? Um, I don't know. Do you want to wait that long? How long does you have no have to live? How long do you have to live? You have to wait a couple days. Regardless, she's furious. So you know what would be interesting? If she stops being a lookout and when her baby is born, she challenges her brother and tries to take over leadership. That would be interesting. But honestly, Izora, that's probably not very... She's kind of blinded by emotion right now. So I think she's going to like chase her brother off for now and he's like it had to be done you disrespected my authority and all that jazz blah 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 so he's gonna jump over here and be with his mate and rage about the the disrespect and incredulous incredulousness so whatever of Yehebna and Izora starting their own family and when, when it's clear you know it's like alphas alphas only and he did not have a gentle heart when it came to this mainly because he was so excited about his family and he thought it should be the main event and Izora is very angry that she does not get to have a family so I think um I think she's probably when her baby is born after this turn when her baby is born she is going to she's gonna f whoa okay she's gonna she's gonna fight her bro yep yep they're gonna get in a fight a sibling squabble Camila, my beloved no ice cream Go to her. Go to her. Try to smack the bush. Ice cream is standing vigil over Camila's phone. She is losing so many wonderful people. It sucks. We have a cute little spit snout over here. Hello. Sorry, derp snout. Cora. Oh, you're pretty. I like you. She is really pretty. She's kind of golden. Okay, let's go ahead and look at you in the family tree. So she's got wings like her mom. She's got, oh, unfortunately she got medium body, but she did at least get medium tail, so cool resistance. Hmm. So where is cool resistance? She has two cold resistance. Uh, how much do you need to not freeze? Three, right? She has perfect eyesight. Let's see, perfect eyesight. Oh, she has purse now, inactive. Right, were we trying to get that at some point? And then, okay, yep, she's got her wings, she's got all this. It looks like she does not have the highest fertility. She has C and H immunity. H, C, we were kind of hoping for A. So I think we have to, I think we usually have to wait a turn before they breed, but we can roll and see if they can breed straight away or not. Wait, no, okay, they can breed straight away. I'm forgetting, I'm forgetting the rules. They can, <laughs> I love that they move everywhere with the little hop, that's so cute. But they can breed straight away, but I just have to see if she can just set down a nest right away. So that's what we're thinking of. Okay. Nope, she's gotta wait another two days. So this day, then the eight, and she can have a baby on the seventh. Okay. All right, so there's that. We need to keep up with the food. Let's see, Bismuth, why don't you go down here? So that she can collect us. Oh! Wait! No! I'm sorry! I broke a rule! I'm sorry! I don't think I'm supposed to actually gather acorns. I was playing it like normal. No, we're not allowed to gather those. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh gosh, okay. There's bunnies over here. You guys are exploring this side of the island. Um, we'll just not gather up any more food then because of oh hey! Is he cold? Is he? Okay. So I don't know what Izora wants to do. I think she's... Oh, wait, no, we're not allowed to gather anything else this turn because I cheated. Um, I think she's going to stay with Yebhebnut. Yebheb? Okay, Yebhebnut. 
And then her brother is going to face her fury very soon because she will be laying down a nest on her next turn. And then she will um, come for you and you guys will have to fight. Let's see, how strong are you? You've got three strength. He will likely come out on top because since he's stronger than her, um, okay, we roll the dice. Whoever gets the higher number wins. And if one each link is stronger than the other, they get another bonus point added. I know, a lot of complicated rules, honestly. Uh, honestly, this challenge probably wasn't too, like, crafted too well, but, like, it's too late now. Oh, my god! Oh, oh, you startled me. Nuke here. Who doesn't want to get, like, you know, who doesn't want to be in my tribe. Um, Kani Aisu is not going to leave his baby. Let's see. We'll see what happens in the next episode. <laughs> Um, I think we'll go ahead, we'll do one more turn because I want her to have her baby and then we're going to see a showdown because honestly, I think Kane Aisu might deserve a bit of a smack. You know, I understand completely why Izora is so frustrated. She literally just wants a family. That's it. But because of the way that the wolf pack challenge is set up in particular, and keep in mind, um, don't take this as like um, strictly like how wolves actually behave. It's loosely based on that. Um, like the whole Alpha Omega thing is a lot of it's like a myth. Um, if you want to know how uh, wolves actually interact um, in packs, um, research it because the Alpha Omega thing is not real. But like for this challenge, it makes things fun. So there you go. Just letting you know. And since she's actually an alpha, we need to change that and change her gems to blue. Just remembered that. And since Cora is part of the family, well, I don't think she's actually... We'll see. Let's go ahead and give her a good name. Um, let's see. <laughs> do, 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 do. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna scroll and see what we can name her. Let's let's zoom in on you, my little one. Oh my goodness, you're gorgeous. Wait, what color is her eyes? Okay, black, okay. I thought they were blue for a second. I was like, why? <laughs> but that is not the case. Oh. This is so weird, whoa. I'm having too much fun. I shouldn't be doing that, because I think like, yeah, this only lets you go to a certain point. And, like, I can go beyond this? Okay. I thought it was going to keep letting me go out to sea. It's like, really? But no, 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 no. I'll stop messing. I'm sorry. Um, okay. Name, 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 name. What's the first one I see? Oh, these were all meant for boys. So let's scroll again. Okay. Taking a bit to load. That's all right. I scrolled too fast for my phone. Wait, 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 what? Uh, Mayurin? Murin? Uh, we're gonna name her Murin. Um, oh, 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 wait, wait, what generation? What generation? Q? <gasps> generation R! Yes! <laughs> we're so close! Okay. R. Mewri. No, 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 no. No, no, no. That is not. Uh, backspace. Backspace is. Okay. Mewrin. Coolio. Alrighty. She is pretty. I do like the derp snats. Although, admittedly, I would like a little more variety. Like, I kind of hope that we get a long. At least with these two, we'll hopefully get, like, long snouts or normal snout. Because. Oh, imagine if we got the beak. Or the purse now that would be so cool but i highly doubt it but okay you guys i think that's gonna be it for this episode i hope you enjoyed it and i want to thank you all for watching but i gotta be bopping out of here and i'll see you in the next one goodbye